You know that scene in Indiana Jones where the guy finds the Holy Grail and takes a sip, only for his face to melt off a few seconds later? That's kind of how Pokemon Go players felt after discovering a one finger fast catch earlier this year, only to have it almost immediately patched out of the game. See, Niantic had introduced a bug to Pokemon Go that allowed the game to enter a bugged state that made a one finger fast catch possible. This was really exciting to players because the ordinary fast catch technique, discussed most recently in a video you can find up there, requires two hands. Freeing up a hand makes the technique both easier and more convenient in a variety of circumstances. One might call it the holy grail of catching techniques. Unfortunately, the bug that caused the one finger fast catch to be possible also caused a lot of other problems, so Niantic actually fixed it. Feel free to comment your thoughts on this. Well, after all these months, I'm happy to say, we're back, baby. Well, sort of. Thanks to several commenters, I learned about a technique that uses two fingers on the same hand to fast catch. It's not a one finger technique, but it is an effective and practical technique that uses only one hand. It's great for situations where one hand is busy doing something else, but you still want to get some catches in. It's less good for Pokemon that require a high degree of accuracy, or who require the whole screen area for a throw. For example, I wouldn't recommend this technique for very distant Pokemon like Lickitung, but it did work well for Poplio, even allowing me to get some excellent throws. Here's how it works. The principle of this technique is the same as any two-handed fast catch. It uses your index and middle finger, but depending on which direction you throw, it will go a little differently. For me, as a clockwise curveball thrower, I place my index finger on the berry icon, then my middle finger on the Pokeball. I will assume this configuration for the following steps, but if you throw counterclockwise, then you would place your middle finger on the ball icon, and then your index finger on the Pokeball. Being careful not to bring the fingers too close together, throw the ball with your middle finger, moving your index finger naturally along with it. Once your middle finger leaves the screen to make the throw, lift your index finger naturally along with it. This will cause the berry or ball tray to open. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to matter which finger leaves the screen first, so this is pretty reliable. Once the tray opens, tap anywhere to dismiss the tray, and then tap the flea icon to complete the fast catch. There are a couple of caveats to this. First, make sure you touch the ball icon or berry icon just before the ball, or it won't work. Second, ensure that you don't bring the two fingers too close together, or the game may think they are a single finger, and the fast catch won't work. I know we all wish Niantic would add an officially supported fast catch mechanism to the game, but until then, I guess the part-time purpose of this channel has become to document the various hacks that we've found to allow us to catch as efficiently as possible. Let me know in the comments if you have other tricks that I've missed. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.